you're getting an extra one today because I think behind the scenes, things could be moving very, very quickly. Just yesterday, we had reported about one of the things that was stopping a lot of Tories from, shall we say, sending in their letters or maybe deciding to keep Johnson was the fact that there was still no clear successor to who would take over Johnson. But now we have Tories, senior Tories indeed, saying that a successor does not matter. We can sort that later. One will appear. We must get Johnson, get rid of Johnson now. And they are urging their colleagues to do the same thing. So I think very quickly, and this is why you're getting an extra video today, is things could move very, very quickly this week. So <laughs> I'm very hesitant to say it, but I am declaring Boris Watch number three <laughs> is on, folks, ladies and gentlemen. We have entered once again into Boris Watch. Because if what we are hearing from the Times is true, given the fact that you've now got more and more Tories, and the senior Tories in particular, the ones who really have sort of a lot of influence within the party saying, we need to get rid of him sooner rather than later. Don't worry about the fact that there isn't a, a clear successor. We'll have a leadership campaign. We'll sort it all out then. Things and events and motions are now in place that in previous Boris watches weren't happening. You know, things are now in motion. So it does certainly feel, you know, <laughs> very, very brief, you know, very, very quickly, events could happen very, very quickly. Could Boris go by the end of this week? I'm very hesitant to even say that. But the amount of pressure that he's going to be on Johnson now, and as more MPs almost certainly will turn against him, things could get interesting very, very quickly. So this could be a very, very long uh, Boris watch. So before we do quickly jump into this article, please do remember to hit that like, share, and subscribe button. And of course, down below, there are links to my Patreon page and a one-off donation link called Buy Me Coffee. We can well buy me coffee. And as always, thank you very much to all those people who do help support the channel that way. And of course, the YouTube memberships are open down below as well. So let's jump into this. This comes from politics.co.uk with this interesting report on what happened in the Times. So the Times newspaper have has... <coughs> has alleged that senior Whitehall officials, so this is where it's coming from, think that Boris Johnson may actually quit following the full publication of the Sue Gray report. And we are still waiting for that report to be published. We still do not know when uh, Sue's going to finish her report. But needless to say, if you've got senior Whitehall officials saying, once the report's out in full, he will not be able to stay and he will uh, be forced to quit by it is very, very interesting. The newspaper has published the testimony of an anonymous Whitehall official who says that the report's finding are, <coughs> are, a, um, are, a, are, ex are, are exhausted, are exhausting and directly criticized Johnson. They told the Times that Sue's report is, 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 is exhausting. It will make things incredibly difficult for the Prime Minister. There is an immense amount of pressure on Gray at the moment for her report. Could be enough to end him, they say. Gray's initial report published in January said that the gatherings represented a serious failure of judgment and leadership in number 10 and the cabinet office. And over 300 photos and over 500 documents were again passed on to the police by the cabinet office in January. And of course, early this month, the number 10 spokesperson confirmed that Johnson and Rishi Sunak were fined with over the PM's 2020 birthday gathering. 
stating that on the 19th of June 2020 in the Cabinet Room in 10 Downing Street, between uh, the hours of 1400 and 1500, you participated in a gathering of two or more people indoors in the Cabinet Room at number 10 Downing Street. In an interview with Sky News earlier today, the technology minister, Chris Phillip, dodged the question over the reports. Philip told the broadcaster, I'm not going to speculate about what is in the report or what it may or may not say. We will obviously, I'm sure, debate it very amply when it gets published. So things are hotting up very, very quickly. Of course, we still don't know when the Sue Gray report is going to be published. We are still waiting on that. And of course, this this news is certainly going to set the cat among the pigeons. Absolutely going to set the cat among the pigeons for this. If you are already seeing senior conservatives push their fellow MPs to get rid of Johnson, this is going to give them even more ammunition to just start pushing them even further. So, and again, I, I don't want to predict it because, like I've said before, we've been here before. But this feels very different to those other times. Very, very different. And who knows what could happen in the next 24 hours? Who knows what could happen this week? Who knows what could happen by next Friday? We don't know. But needless to say... Settle in, folks, because Boris Watch 3 is almost certainly going to be a long one. So with that, thank you very much for watching. Please do remember to hit that like, share, and subscribe button. And of course, down below, there are links to my Patreon page and a one-off nation link called Buy Me Coffee. We can, well, buy me coffee. And as always, thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you all next time.